so we're going to be using our highlighters and our or pencil or crayon or marker or highlighter tool on class kick to highlight ready or underline following along when you reread the biography underline key details that develop the main idea about Paolo and her art okay no, that's gonna take too long. Just use a you had the marker out. Use the marker. Okay. Ready? A portrait of Frida Kahlo by Jean or Jeannie. Erskine. In September 1925, what do you need? Mahan and Dylan. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Dylan, or Mahan and Mask Mask Okay. Okay. Ready? Sorry. Back on in. Ledger, show me you're ready. Le Eliana. Okay. In September 1925, a bus in Mexico was in a terrible accident. One passenger, an 18-year-old woman, was hurt so badly that she had to stay in bed for three months. Looking for a task to occupy her mind, she decided to paint pictures. This is how Frida Kahlo, one of the most famous Mexican artists of the 20th century, began her career. Kahlo produced more than 150 paintings during her life. Of those, 55 were self-portraits for which she is best known. In the paintings, Kahlo was, has brown skin, black hair, thick eyebrows, and a faint mustache. She often wears brightly colored traditional Mexican blouses and skirts. She usually gazes confidently at the viewer, Kahlo explained. I paint myself because I am so often alone and because I am the subject I know best. For Kahlo, a self-portrait is a way to communicate ideas. For example, Kahlo's injuries from the bus accident left her in pain all her life. So some of her self-portraits express this discomfort. Others depict events in her life. For instance, in the early 1930s, Kahlo lived in the United States. She was homesick, so she painted herself standing between Mexican flowers and buildings on one side and American factories and skyscrapers on the other. The painting showed how she felt, torn between where she was living and where she wanted to be. Not all of Kahlo's self-portraits have such a clear message. Some are like painted dreams. With Kahlo, before tropical plants and surrounded by spider monkeys, parrots, and cats. For Kahlo, a self-portrait could express whatever she wanted. Frida Kahlo died in 1954. During her life, she had traveled to the world and pressed famous artists and taught painting to college students in Mexico. As she told her students, to paint is the most terrific thing there, that there is, but to do it well is very difficult. Lovers of her art believe that Frida Kahlo painted very well indeed.
because nobody was following along with other living records. Then I thought I would back. So if you want to do the assignment by yourself, go ahead. Or would you like my help and would you like to learn? Okay, what is our topic about? Sophie? Who's she? Um, Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo. So our topic is Frida Kahlo. Okay, so what are some ideas for what our main idea is about Frida Kahlo? What was the author explaining? Let's write some things down. Let's do it. Um, about how she Okay, she painted. Noah? Famous. Oh, that's a good O. Painter in Mexico. Okay, I like how that has a lot of detail. What do you think could be another main idea? Ariana? That um, Frida Kahlo is a good South person. Ooh, she is specifically known for her self-portraits, right? So, best known for her self-portraits. Sophie, what were you going to say? Um, how she started So how she started to paint and what she did. Okay, so I like all of these. Okay, so let's create a main idea. Before we do that, let's underline these things that we decided that were important things that the important details that the author was saying about our topic, right? Okay, so we know that she painted, right? And we know how she started to paint. So let's underline the how she started to paint. That is in paragraph one. How and why did she start to paint? Noah? Because uh, she loved her really badly and she wanted to keep her mind going while she was Okay, was hurt so badly that she stayed in bed for three months. Underline. What does that have to do with me? It's telling us about how she started painting. Because we know she's a famous painter. So a key detail would be how she started painting. Huh? Highlight. Underline. Yes. 
Okay. She is best known for her self-portraits, right? Okay, so where can we find that? Second paragraph? Yeah. Don't let me move my mouth. It's kind of in the way. Okay, so 55 were self-portraits, which she is best known. Sign into the log. Okay, underline. Um, she's a famous painter in Mexico. We know that, right? Okay, so let's underline that. One of the most famous Mexican artists. Okay. And the other one, we know that she painted, right? Okay, so another key detail for the main idea is where I like down here where she said, Carlo explained, I paint myself because I am so often alone and because I am the subject I know best. He's lonely. Elian, keep going. Okay, underline. And what else did she paint about? She painted self portraits. What's another thing that she painted about? So she painted, some are like painted dreams. So with Kahlo before tropical plants and surrounded by spider monkey, parrots, and cats. Okay, so I like this part, are like painted dreams. Okay, anything else that you think is a key detail that we should underline? So that, that goes with the dreams. So those are her dreams. Okay. All right. Ready for page 27? Okay. Page 27. So you got this all in your life because I'm moving on. All right. Pencils ready. Main idea. So we need to create a main idea from some details and the topic that we wrote down, right? So our main idea is our topic and what the author is saying about the topic, right? So what's our topic that you can put here? What or who is our topic? Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo. Thank you, Thomas. Okay, so write down Frida Kahlo with capital letters because that is a person's name, comma. Frida Kahlo, comma. Okay, what about Frida Kahlo? Famous painter in Mexico? Good. So let's say Frida Kahlo, a Mexican artist. Comma. Quickly, Merlin. And then we said, best known for her self portraits, right? So, is best known for her self portraits? Yes. Yeah. Quickly, Marley. What did you put? So instead of saying she, you need to say who. Okay, so Frida Kahlo, famous painter in Mexico. 
and then add in here best notes for her soft book. Okay. All right. We need some key details. Ready? Elian, al rato. Aquí, por favor. Apúrese porque lo voy a borrar. No sé por qué me lo he olvidado. Okay, so a key detail talk that will support that she is a, me a famous Mexican artist that is best known for her self portraits. Oh, I forgot to put famous. I'm sorry. That would be important too. So, Viva Calo, a famous Mexican artist is best known for her self portraits. And I'm going to make this bigger. That looks good. Now we move this one. Frida Palo, comma, a famous capital M Mexican artist, comma, is best known for her self-portraits. Okay, so what's one good key detail? Would it be how she started painting? Okay, so how did she start painting? Elian. How did she start painting? Okay, so Frida was hurt in an accident. We can be have a lot of detail. Was hurt in an accident and what? Was put in her back of humor. And the boom. Okay, so and had to stay in bed for three months. Up oh, with comma. So she was alone and began painting. Frida was hurt in an accident and had to stay in bed for three months, so she was alone and began painting. Okay. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready for key de second key detail. Okay, so our second key detail. So since I use this one, let's erase it. And what else would be an important thing about who she is? Um, Ariana? Um, Paolo produced more than 150 paintings during her life. Oh my gosh. Her life. <laughs> of those, 55 were self-portraits. Good. Okay, so let's summarize that in our own words. So she what? She was what? Because she's not alive anymore. Best known or we could say she painted many Many 
any what self portrait keep going in yeah why did she do that um so she's for fine healing so she was like occupied while she was in the hospital close close she felt lonely close no what she expressed her feelings and felt Close. She painted many self-portraits. What? Merle? She painted some of her paintings were dreams. But most of them were because... Why did she paint so many self-portraits? Ariana, did you find it? Um, she could express every, whatever she wanted. She could express her feelings. Close. I like how Ariana's looking back at the text. She wanted to do, um, she was hurt so badly, um. That's why she started painting. Oh, uh, but. Why did she paint so many self-portraits? Because, um, she was lonely, and she wanted, um. No. That's why she started painting. Thomas? She said, I paint myself because I am so often alone, and because I am, I am the subject I know best. Yes. She painted many self portraits because she is the subject she, knew she best. is the subject she knew best. You lied. You said that she, you were gonna write she was, but then you erased it. Now I have to erase my whole thing. I'm sorry. Period. She painted many self-portraits because she is the subject she knew best. Or she was, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why we have erasers. Yeah. That's the pencil eraser that we're going to use. Eliam. Aquí. Pues lo voy a Okay. Okay, third key detail. So she's best for herself portrait. Perfect. Okay, what else can we talk about next? Let her listen. Let her listen. Ariana? How she painted her dreams and her feelings. Okay. So, some paintings, keep writing, Thomas, were of her dreams, keep going, Ledger, some paintings were of her dreams, And what else did you paint about? Her dreams and feelings. Her dreams and feelings and Paragraph 3. For Carlo, a self-portrait was a way to communicate ideas. For example, Carlo's injuries from the bus accident left her in pain all her life. So some of her self-portraits express this discomfort. Others depict events in her life. Okay, so she, some paintings were of her dreams, life, events.
But she always, she always drew about what happened. Self portraits. She always self portraits. She always paints her eyebrows. Thomas. And then the time when she used to wear it. Expressions. Sophie, I'm trying to listen to Thomas. Marley, math's fun. I shouldn't have to ask you that many times. Sophie, you as well. Math's go. So in her paintings, she always included her discomforts. Her discomforts include poor, thick eyebrows, and faint mustache. Okay. So some paintings were of her dreams, life events, and discomfort. And yeah, quickly. Okay, one last part. Once you're done with that, you need to flip to page 30. Morley, where is all this? Page 30. So on page 30, you need to start writing your summary. Alright, so let me go over again. Last things that you should have in your organizer. Marley, right here. You're not done with this side. Elian, quickly. So, main idea. Frida Palo, comma, a famous Mexican artist, Marley, is best known for her self-portraits, period. First key detail. Frida was hurt in an accident and had to stay in bed for three months, comma. So she was alone and began painting, period. Let her sit down. Second key detail. She painted many self-portraits because she was the subject she knew best, period. Third key detail. Some paintings were of her dreams, comma, life events, comma, and discomforts, period. Okay. Get those filled in. 